All right, everybody. Uh, long time ago, I said when I got to a thousand subscribers, I would do a giveaway. So I've made it to a thousand subscribers. Uh, the giveaway, simply, uh, kind of because I'm in a transition right now of I'm moving and whatever. Uh, I have these now. This was the prototype. I just kind of gave it a very light sanding. It's by no means a great finish. And best I can tell, this portion here doesn't really work. But, uh, yeah. No, no, no worky. So, uh, but this portion here, it works. And it can just be something, I, I don't know, if you don't want it. Don't participate. Pretty simple. If you do want it, here is the challenge or question. Uh, a while back in one of my previous videos, I discussed the difference of a traditional uh, lens, not, not really a lens, a gas diffuser, traditional gas diffuser when TIG welding versus a gas lens diffuser for TIG welding. So in the comments, whoever is the first that I can actually send this to, I mean, I'm not, I will try if it's out of the US, I'll try and get it to you. But if the post office or whatever gives me grief, then sorry, you're out. Uh, so whoever the first that I can send it to with a good address that can answer to me why does a gas lens give you the ability to have like a longer stick out of your tungsten and provide that better shielding? What What is it that it's doing to the shielding gas? So I'm kind of looking for a little bit of a specific answer and I know it's in that video. So there you go. This is it right here. Could be yours. That's the challenge. Leave it in the comments, and if you're the winner, I'll try and contact you. Hopefully there's a way through YouTube to contact you that I can uh, also privately get your mailing address for this. So, thanks for watching, thanks for participating, and enjoy.